The video you're about to see shows the attempted execution of a police officer. When our deputy arrived to help that day, she was met by a suspect who attacked her. He repeatedly punched her in the face, breaking her orbital socket. He then pulled her to the ground, causing her thumb to break. He attacked her and took her duty weapon, pointed at her forehead, and pulled the trigger. It's only by the grace of God that our deputy was saved. That firearm malfunctioned and didn't kill our deputy. To any person with common sense, this was an outright attempt to kill a cop. But not just a cop. Megan is a daughter, a sister, a mother, a deputy who responded to a call for help from another mother who was in fear for her life. And yet somehow, somehow last week, this suspect was found not guilty. Not guilty of an assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer. And not guilty of an attempt murder of a police officer. What kind of upside down world are we living in? Your law enforcement officers are here to enforce laws. We don't create those laws. We certainly don't get to pick and choose which calls for service we respond to. We don't get any say on who calls us for help. And yet somehow a jury, a jury decided that the deputy was somehow in some way to blame for what happened to her. Hospital records of broken bones and the photos of Megan's bruised and bleeding face show very clearly a crime was committed. The image of the suspect holding a gun to Megan's head and pulling the trigger shows an attempted execution. How a jury was able to reach the conclusion they did after seeing this video is unfreaking believable. Unbelievable. This is a complete failure of the justice system. Our elected officials are put in place to help ensure justice. What is happening in these courtrooms? What is happening under the leadership of our elected officials? What the hell is happening that allows common sense to be abandoned and facts to be ignored? We need a commitment from our leaders to help answer these questions. This is our home and this is a complete lack of humanity.